Hi Pisces, how y'all doing? Um, Pisces Studios, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. How are we doing Pisces? Um, I can tell you some is a lot of changes going on with Pisces, right? Um, I want to start off saying that um, if in this reading is something that doesn't apply to you, just let it go. Take what fits you, whatever don't. Just let it go. Please don't um live your life by these readings. You know, these readings are here to direct you. I mean, to look for it or something that you're going through that you may need help with. But don't apply this and just go home or start all this confusion with a person. And it doesn't even fit you. Let it go. Okay? So by saying that, I want to start my reading. I hope I can keep this at 30 minutes because I need to take me a nap. I didn't get to bed till 2 o'clock. All this nonsense. But anyway, that is not here or there with you. You about this reading. So let's start off with the, um, the sun. Pisces. The sun is there, baby. You are like on top of your game. Wish, wishes are fulfilled. You know, um... You're expecting this miracle, you know. Um, um, uh, maybe your, your wish is grant. Hey, maybe your wish is grant. You get an opportunity, healing after a trauma event, knowing that you are on the right path, inspiration, rewarding, hope, renewing hope. Okay. It's not, you're all in it, you're, I see that it's like a brighter you, a brighter day, a brighter beginning, in every level it is. I also, um, I feel like you deserve it, Pisces, why not? Why not? You deserve that in some, you deserve everything that you want, everything. So, moving on, Pisces, um. Spirit, give me a love reading for Pisces. I'm sorry. Spirit, give me a love reading for Pisces. Please. Give me a love reading for Pisces. Spirit, love reading for Pisces. Pisces wants to know what's going on. Okay. You have the Queen of Swords. Okay. She's, you know, she's very in tune. She's not about bull crap. She's straight up to the point. She will cut you right off. Very in tune with herself, very uh, smart. Um, I would say that um, she's not a person to play with. You know, she tries to uh, strategize everything that she's doing before she do it. She's, you know, putting everything in her head of how she's going to do this and how it's going to work for her, you know. Um, She speaks with wisdom and clarity, you know, she's, um, it's like she's a leader when it comes to how she sees things, um, decision maker, she's an excellent person with communication, she's very wise, logical, um, she owns that integrity, that honesty, you know, um, very intelligent, like I said, being a direct, spoken, she speaks the truth, you know, and, um, you can't play with this lady here, yeah, she's like straight up, she's, she calls it like she see it, and like they say, she bring receipts to the table, honey, okay, so, um, I see that you coming into, with the sun, everything that you wanted, and some. The source is like you speaking the truth, okay, or someone is coming to you with the truth, and they want to bear everything like it is, you know, okay, you got the pinnacle of cups, somebody young, somebody's wanting this Pisces so bad, they want you bad, okay, they, um, they seem to think about you all the time and can't stop thinking about you, Pisces. They want they want that Pisces. They want you bad. 
I feel like to me it's like both ways. It's not just them. I, I feel like it's both of y'all. It's like you want him just as. I feel like both of y'all is like holding on to this ego. Like who's gonna call me or whatever. But I really think that y'all coming into something is gonna bring y'all together. But I don't think it's the right time. I, I feel though they still now is starting to come around as far as. Saying just the word hi or how you doing or be careful with this, all this craziness that's going out in this world with this virus. Maybe that little conversation is going to come through just to break the ice. But Pisces, you not standing for it. This has got to come better because you went through something really very hurtful with this person. But this person misses you and they love you. So they trying to figure everything out, okay, before they come at you and offer this. But they offer it little by little. You're going to get there. Um, I feel like, I feel like they are trying to get to that next step, you know, they're like trying to find out how can I make this work and because, you know, they, it's like, they, they like, they never had to open up, but they, they, they have to open up to you. It's a must that they open up or it's not going to happen for you or them. But this person is trying to figure out how can I open up and be sincere to Pisces. I want to tell her everything. I want to explore this romance with her. I want to bring this love connection like it was before. I want it to be pure. I want to be balanced with her. I want to make everything right. But they're coming little by little because they're trying to figure out are you going to accept them are you going to reject them this person don't take rejection real you know because i believe this person's like uh coming into your life and he's a sore like somebody like like just like her you know what i mean if, if he comes out in the deck i will not be surprised but this person has is coming little by little to speak everything they need to speak to you but they also try to figure out how you feeling. So they try to break the ice little by little just to see, do you still care? Is it, am I doing the right decisions coming back to Pisces and trying to, you know, come to her with this cup that she's going to accept me? It's like they in this turmoil with themselves, like, are you going to accept more? you're not? You know what I mean? This person's been through a lot just like you have in the past, but they don't talk about it, all right? Because... Still like you. It's like almost like y'all act just the same. It's so weird, but that's how I feel. You got the two of wands. It's like, um, should I stay? Should I go? Um, is this gonna be the right choice that I make it? Um, so it's a choice to be made, and because. They trying to figure would it be safe again to make to come to Pisces? Would it be like it was, you know, before? I feel like Pisces, you are, you are also have a big decision to make because you've been through a lot, a whole lot, and it's not like um something that you can you, like just try to ignore it this is never would be the same as before so but i know that you care for this person i do and i know that it's it's like both of y'all it's like both of y'all eat each other in the head with um is it going to be right this time or how's he going to act or is he going to walk away this time is he going to um neglect me um abandon me it's like the those words are who this person really is, but you could never tell because they're afraid of abandonments. I think that in their past, they've been through a lot. You understand? Um, I feel like they have a lot to offer, but um, almost like don't know how to. You understand? I feel like this person um, was also in another relationship, and that feels like that's why. Oh, my God. That's, I feel like that's why y'all broke up. Because he was trying to juggle too, and it didn't work. It didn't went out the way he wanted it to work out. So now he's trying to come back to you um, to, you know, see my Pisces and see 
you know, you got to make a decision. I mean, this is not good, and but I can't tell you what to do with your life. You understand? I mean, the world is full of opportunities. Don't forget that. It's full of opportunity. Adventures. Don't forget that. Don't forget. The world is round. It's full so much. The cup is full for you. And I don't know. Do you want to go to your past or do you want to go to to look at the future and what the world has to offer you? Again, opportunity. Um, a whole new world out there. You got to welcome everything to your life. Now, like I said, you got to make a decision, you know, because I feel like this person had a lot of options, and I feel like you came second always to everything, Pisces, and just feel like you need to know what you really want this time. Do you really want it? Is it worth going back? I don't know your situation. I can't tell you what to do, okay? So that's something that you got to come about and see what you want to do. Give me a little reading for Pisces. Give me a little reading for Pisces, please. I don't know where to call me to. I'm trying to drop a card. I just said it. I feel like you was hurt by this person. I feel like it was a lot of pain. I also feel like I said that this person carries a lot of pain because I feel like um, as a child or as in a relationship with a family, maybe he's seen... His parents go through a lot. He witnessed a lot. Maybe he witnessed a lot of pain in the family. And he never speaks about it. Or he'll paint his family to, to be these picture-perfect people. Because it's not always about material. And sometimes people try to buy their kids from buy materials to cover up the scars that they done created in these kids. And then, you know, the kids grow and grow up and become adults and treat their partners and they can't even never have a good relationship because they are tied into this karma that keeps dragging them and they're never happy no matter what and they in their eyes they think um they are but as you can see their relationships always fall apart i feel like that is why this person is making this major decision because i believe it was a third party in this involvement Okay, and now with all the pain and everything, that this person is full of pain all over. Okay, so I don't know. And I feel like you you a lot in pain too because you really care for this person. This person put you through so much, you know, so, so much that it's not even, was it worth it? No, my baby wants to say hi. So let me say, say hi, say hi, hurry up, say hi, say hi. Say hello. Now we gotta put you down. Stop it, Jojo. His name is Jojo. He wants to look at he just wants to be up over here. Jojo, no, I gotta do this read. I'm almost done. Stop it. Okay, so now let me clarify. What is tell me all about Pisces person? What what is going on with this? Um Tell me what is going on with this. Uh, let's see. This Queen of Swords. What what is Pisces Queen of Swords? You know, this person is not playing. This all about her business. Ooh, I hope I'm not dropping cards. I don't know where they're going. I feel them falling, but I don't know where they're going. I think they're jumping back in the deck. Tell me about Pisces and this love partner they have or who the person they're thinking about. Oh, Tempest. On that Queen of Swords, Pisces. On that Queen of Swords, you got Tempest. So, Pisces, it's like, you know, what are you going to do, Pisces? Like, they offering you everything. The universe is stepping in and saying, Pisces, I'm going to give you this for doing this. And I want you to have this because you've been through a lot, Pisces. Now, um, it's, are they testing you? Is the universe testing you again? I don't know. You know, um, I feel like um, I 
feel I feel like you have walked through everything in your life and you nurture your spirit to this holiness. I feel like you have been through a lot of bending with with these um, energies and you've done it you've done it with, with just with this you would never know that you've been through a lot. But I feel like the universe is stepping in, giving you balance. Okay? I feel like this time, you know what you want. Because you have, if you don't have nothing, you have patience. And you're saying, I'm not making no move until the universe tells me the next step to make. It's, it's like you're living within yourself. No matter, I don't care how many readings you see on YouTube, what they say, but you still. Still living with your spirits that live inside of you and it's surrounding you and they love you and they nurture you because that is what's telling you every day and that is what you're going by. I mean, you may watch you too and watch me and everything else, but you still follow your intuition. This time you are so patient that it's something big coming for you, Pisces, and it's big. But look at this. Now, how about this, Pisces? Right under you. Right under you. Stop, Jojo. I got to do this. Stop it. Stop. Right under you, Pi uh, uh, um, Pisces. You had the Queen of Swords, and look who you got now. The, the Queen of Swords, and look who you got. The King of Swords. So y'all are... Y'all both holding up your swords. This is beautiful. You got two people coming together. And I'm telling you, you got patience. Because both of y'all been through a whole lot. It's almost like, it's almost like you the sun, you are the sun. And you bring this person every, the sun, spiritual. It's like a spiritual connection. And, but he's also giving you something. It's, it's bringing you to be bigger in your spiritual beliefs in your growth it's like you're bringing him out of the dark and you pulling him out okay of who he been in this little kid living inside of him that's been through so much pain and the same as you but you're stronger pisces because you found yourself you've been doing work on yourself for a while now but he just now starting to do the work so that's why I'm saying he's going to come, but it's going to take a little bit longer because he has to be right. Because God is not bringing this person that brought you so much pain when he ain't right. He has to be right. He has to be right. He has to be right. He can't be no other way but right. He got to come right. He's very in tune, very, he's straight by the book. He sees everything logical. He's, he's with the truth. He wants to bring truth to you. He wants to speak the truth. He's trying to, you know, strategize this. How am I going to get to tell Pisces all of this? He's, he's coming around to tell you something. And he started by saying hi and wearing, you know, just like little conversation. Not no big not no, I love you, I miss you. No, just little simple, because it's baby steps. I've been saying this for a long time. Baby steps. Got the devil. Right under the page of cups. I feel like this person, like I said, was a person at one point that had you so... So, like y'all was connected and it was like you were so, you did everything for him. And if he wanted to drink, you would drink. Stuff that you wasn't even doing, you was doing. Like you was codependent. Like, but he never gave you what, what you was deserving. He just, you gave it all. And he just was there just taking your soul away from you, draining you. You was tired. 
of being tired. So I feel like this person is coming out of all of this because you're definitely not codependent on him anymore. That is not Pisces. You're like, if it don't, God don't bring it to me. If it ain't good, let it go. Because I really don't care. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And it's a shame because the word I don't care can get you in trouble, Pisces. Because I feel like for some reason, you also have someone in your life that the word I don't care pushed them away to have, that you found out he had somebody pregnant. And he tried to play these mind games with this person. And I felt like he, he didn't want to let you go, but always, but wanted her too. And, but he know that you got so much going on that he's all confused. And I'm talking about two different people here, two different people. Okay. It may be two different men and two different women, but I'm not talking about this person. It was a third party. And in that third party, you found out that that person had somebody pregnant, had a whole nother relationship, and kept saying that all you kept saying was, you don't care, you don't care. So they went to her and then realized that, you know, this girl was going to come out pregnant and they know how to tell you. So that kind of broke the ice to where you had decided Hey, this is my ticket out the door because I really, for real, for real, didn't care for this person. But it was like he was there. He didn't live with you. He just came there. But y'all still had a relationship, maybe eight, five year relationship. And then you had this person too that was like a two year relationship. But that, whatever took place. It was something that took place, and I'm talking about recently. It might have been yesterday. That took everything happened at one time with both of these people. Where you found out one had somebody pregnant, and something happened where you got in touch with their cell phone. You went through their phone and you found out everything you wanted to know. And it wasn't by accident because God had all this in work. He had it worked out because the person that I see these cards right here that I told you that it is spiritual connected to you also had a third party and belittle you and made you feel bad. And now it's all coming back. But what I'm saying to you is it's not no longer a just cold connection. This like we, when you depend on him or he, because he was depending on you because you was giving it all to him. Okay, so you get it. I'm talking about two different people in, in your life with two different relationships in your life. And it's always a big secret. And everybody has secrets. And every all the secrets came out now. So now it's like, shit, Pisces, I'm free to do what I want to do. So now, wow, this is a lot. This is a lot for me right now. Too much. But it, it was... It's kind of weird that, yeah, something happened, and I, it could have been yesterday, that you got to that person's phone and went through his business and found out that he had somebody pregnant. He was with her, and when the conversation came back to you, all he could say was, you say you never care. And that's like a Pisces to say that. You... And it's not saying that it's just like a, a word that you always say. I don't care. I don't care. But you got to watch what you say because I don't care to you mean like, oh, so what? But to somebody else means go screw somebody else. Go have another relationship because I don't want you. So you got to learn how to talk. Okay? Be clear. This is taking me on a loop because this was about one person reading, but the spirit is telling me that it was a third whole party and you had two different relationships going on like Pisces you was like playing two different people what you bad you bad Pisces I ain't playing with you I don't know this gotta apply to somebody because somebody was having two whole relationships 
secretive, both of them. Pisces, vicious. Wow. Okay. So clarify this um two of wands. What is this decision? Look at that. Juggling. Juggling two people. Pisces. I feel like all three of y'all, this triangle is juggling, still juggling, trying to make decision on who, what, whatever, where you want to stay, where you don't want to stay. You know, like life is ups and down, but you trying to figure this one out. Who you want to be with? I, shit, I might not want to be with none of them. Because both of them scar you in two different ways. But you had one that you was with longer that you completely said, I don't care. Do what you want to do. And he did and got somebody pregnant. The other one treated you like trash, but you gave him the red carpet. So now you got to come up with this decision. Because I believe it's like a triangle going on, and it still is. Listen, listen, I'm just reading the cards, and I'm reading like I see it. And don't be going, writing no crazy stuff about me. Because I really don't care. I'm calling like I see it. I'm reading the cards like I said. That's what it said. That's what it said. Don't be going all vicious on me, writing all crazy stuff and talking about what y'all did, what y'all did. I really don't care what y'all do. Just don't, just change your page and move on. Don't come at me all crazy because I'm telling you what I see. All right? So, hey, I'm a Pisces too. If that's what y'all doing, that's what y'all doing. I can't sugarcoat something and say the other person. I'm talking about you, Pisces. Straight up, you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, wow. 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 Okay. You got the Knight of Wands, and this person is coming in real fast. This person here, this Aquarius, or whoever he is, because I see a Sagittarius, too. Um... But this person is fire and it's coming by coming to you fast. And this person here is that person that I told you that's very unbalanced. They've been through hell and back as a child. And just like you, it's like you two marry each other a lot. But he has a lot to he's he's coming in to open up the door to being at peace with something. He's coming in with this communication that he needs to communicate with you. But it's going to be baby steps. But I believe that y'all are going to make it. Because that right there is fire. Honey, if it was up to him, he'd be in the bed with you right now. He He's in love with you. In love. But he don't know how to love. Okay? So that's where God is stepping in and working it out. Okay? But he's coming. He is coming, baby fire he's coming so fast it's like like you probably got a message today after everything that took place yesterday it's so weird to me but this is coming fast all right and after that this one flew out which is the wheel of fortune the wheel always spinning honey it goes round and round round and round so you need to this side after this heartbreak and this three triangle thing going on that y'all got going, that you got going on, Pisces, and it's all in the open now, ain't nothing live. It's in the open between them. Not that you had a third party, but it's just something else. No wonder you wear the crown. You know about him cheating on you. You know about him cheating on you. He treated you bad. You treated this one bad. So what goes around comes around. And maybe that's what this is saying. I said it. What goes around comes around. This person, there's a lot of pain going on between you and this person. Now, this person got this girl pregnant. That don't even matter because that never mattered to you. But this person here mattered. The one that tore you and shred you to pieces. He mattered to you a lot. And he is coming back. Because you probably got a text from him this morning around 6 o'clock in the morning. I don't know. But it was real early. Just to break the ice. Because he's in love with you. What goes around comes around, Pisces. 
I don't care what the wheels say. I'm telling you, what goes around comes around. Keep, keep real and be true to yourself. And like I always say, love and respect you so others can love and respect you. Love and respect yourself so others can do the same. You can't just go around doing what you want to do to people. You just don't do that. Okay? And I'm telling you, this was you. This is your doing. Thinking you being sneaky. And, yeah, you sitting there crying and all this about all what he did. But um, at the same time, you was doing it too. But that other person didn't matter the one that you got caught. That you busted. Got somebody pregnant, honey. You could, you didn't even care. Oh, good. I'm glad you got somebody pregnant. That's out the door time. And and it's so weird because this person is all telling you, oh, I, I told her I ain't love her. I told her I love you. And she knew about you. Craziness. And now he all caught up in his feelings because he thinks that you are still in love with him and you don't even care about him. And, and you sitting there trying to debate, oh, should I really ruin everything for him? Because I really don't care, but I should ruin it all for him just because. Um, she did this to me. Craziness. Okay, true love. And I believe is this is a romance of a lifetime. And this person is coming back. It's coming back. In a whole different way. So let him still go through changes that God's giving him. Because he doesn't know how to love. Okay? And you don't want to go through this that you went through before. So let him learn the lessons. And give yourself time. And he's going to be there. He's come because he's coming little by little. Okay, so now he's gonna be texting you little by little, flirting with you. Like it's gonna be like a flirt little thing, you know, this little light flirting energy between both of y'all. Okay, all right, Pisces. And that is your reading for today. And I'm glad I made it. Hey, Pisces, stop playing, stop playing, Pisces. Y'all play too damn go much now. Y'all playing too much. Y'all got this triangle going, and y'all know good damn well y'all playing somebody. But guess what? Don't play it because you, that one that you want is coming back. So let that other one with that baby go. Let it go. Let him be happy with his new family. Shit, that's what he needed. A family. Come on. Say say bye to my boo. Say bye. Say bye, baby. Boy. Say bye. Come on. Say bye. Say bye. All right. So I'll talk to you later. Love and respect yourself, honey, okay, so you can get all that good blessing. You've been through a lot of places now. I call like I see. And for those who want to go crazy on me, go crazy on yourself. Because if, if, if you're going crazy on yourself, that means it's not for you. So just check your little way on out of here and don't be writing no stupid stuff about me because I really don't care. Bye. See you, Pisces. Be blessed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.